E Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakahagodah, Shalom Wam to the elect, double homage to our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. What I would just speak in the beginning there is Hebrew, it said all praises to the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahawa, his son's name is Yahawa Shai, Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The Rakahagodah is what he left us to comfort us, all right, and to guide us in all understanding. And truth in this journey that we're in until salvation, as long as we stay by the mind, wa which means in sincerity and truth. And uh, yeah, I was just talking with uh, the elder brother Manasha here in our camp, um, the head brother in the camp here. And uh, we were just talking about some things, and uh, one thing he, he said a quote over the phone to me, and uh, it was real heavy. I'm gonna get a couple precepts, and the quote was uh, don't give up during the process, you know. Throughout this process that we're going through, we're gonna take a lot of bumps and blows, you know. A lot of things are gonna start happening and that have been happening to us that are gonna to try to make us falter, you know, and fall off the tightrope, if you will. You know, we understand that there's deep water on one side and fire on the other. So, uh, you know, you, you can't, you can't, we can't make it up in our mind that uh, it's too hard you know, or the Lord doesn't understand what we're going through. And I just got a few scriptures based off of that quote the brother told me. Um, first is First Peter 4 and 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. And, you know, every brother's situation, they, they think it's super unique. It's not completely unique. Yeah, it's maybe happening to you and no one else in the camp, or you don't know any else, anyone else that it's happening to. But you got to remember, um, nothing new is under the sun. All right. So, you know, what you're going through or whatever you're going through, you can't let that affect your final outcome. All right. First Peter 5 and 9. Whom resist? Let's, let's start up. First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober and be vigilant, vigilant because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion. Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And that's the thing. You can't get devoured during the process, you know. A lot of the times we can see the roaring lion coming. You can hear his roar, you know, if you're being circumspect. You're being wise. You can understand the danger that's coming. You know, Scripture says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. So it's, if you're sober and you're vigilant, you're watching. Then this roaring lion, you know, you'll hear the roars. You know, and you won't you won't give up during the process. You understand, all right, I have to fight. I got to pry this lion's mouth open like David did spiritually and just attack it. It says, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions. Now, it didn't specify the affliction, right? It didn't specify what it was, but it just said the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world, right? So there's no strange thing like the scripture says, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And that's the thing. You got to remember, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is bringing joy for us. All right? He's bringing joy for us. And uh, when you keep that on your mind, it makes it easy not to falter, easier not to falter. Of course, the hell is unspeakable hell. It comes out of nowhere. But you got to remember... Don't think it's like it's something fresh. The Lord's give you something specific. You know, like a lot of brothers are going through the same things, a lot of the same ailments, you know, a lot of the same tribulations with family, maybe wife, children, maybe with the job, you know, maybe with your chariot, your vehicle, you know, different things. These are all these aren't strange things. You know, the Lord wrote it this way. We got to understand the Lord wrote it this way. All right. First Peter one to seven says, uh that the trial of your faith may be much more precious than of gold that perisheth though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach so yeah I just wanted to stress that point you know don't give up during the process um, just remember these scriptures all praise to Yahweh Shah Mashiach Bashim Kapudash Shalom to the elect